Good morning, Ab Geeks. I'm sure you recognize this. Dark Star from Top Gun Maverick is here at the Edwards Air Force Base Air Show. It starts tomorrow, Sunday. It's open today for some schools and VIPs, um, people with base access. So of course this uh, thing doesn't actually fly. It does have a functional cockpit though. And they made it just for the movie. But the uh, concept for a hypersonic fighter jet is definitely a real thing. This is from Skunk Works. And um, there's a reason they put this in the movie. They want people the next 10 years to be engineers and work for them and develop the next generation of fighter aircraft which are probably already flying we just don't know it yet but there it is maverick's hypersonic jet at the beginning of the movie it's pretty cool and it's parked here right next to the blackbird and this lady needs no introduction you all know all about this They've got these two ladies and a lot more this weekend, Aerospace Valley Air Show, Edwards Air Force Base. It's the first time they've had a on-base air show open to the public in 13 years. The last time they did this was 2009. The show will start with sonic booms from NASA at 15. The Air Force is going to be flying their jets. They're going to be about 28, 29,000 feet and direct the sonic boom straight to the ground. It's the only air show in the country that they're allowed to actually do that. That's the nature of Edwards Air Force Base flight test. A lot of history here. Uh, it's also the 75th anniversary of Chuck Yeager breaking the sound barrier for the first time. And that, of course, paved the way to everything that came after. So come out this weekend.